I have been hard at work on my Nix OS config for quite a while now. So if you're new around here, I've, I've been using Nix OS for a bit. I really enjoy it as a Linux distribution. It's great. Uh, I've, I've used a lot of other Linux distros. It's been a long time since I've, you know, daily driven windows or anything like that for gaming or whatever. I've been using Linux for a long time. I'm really enjoying Nix OS. It has a solid foundation. I also really enjoy how it controls a system and can make it very easy for someone else to replicate the system without missing any small bits and bobs like scripts or, you know, whatever. It, it, it'll just all get in there. Also using flakes, which my configuration, there is a link to my GitLab where you'll find my configuration. It's called Sany OS. Um, my dot files repo hasn't been used in forever and probably won't be used probably ever again because I really like it. Sorry, got to mute my phone. Um, but I, I don't have very long before work. So this video is probably not going to be edited all the best, but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys a little bit of the improvements and stuff that I've been working on for Zany OS to make your guys's life easier. If you don't know, the whole point of my configuration is to be my configuration. It's literally what I run on my computer, but also for it to be very extensible or um, dynamic, depending on what you need for your system. So. Even though you're going to get my configuration, I'm trying to make different profiles for it to work on different hardware. Um, I'm going to be making some variables to easily enable or disable Flatpak, for example, and a whole bunch of other things. I don't use Flatpak, so for me, that variable will be disabled by default, but the whole idea is when you get my git repo, there's the flake.nix file there, and you can use it to build your system and it's got some easy to use and find variables inside of it that you can change like your username, get username, email, you know, all that kind of stuff. And that way your system, all you gotta do is edit one file, build, and you've got a beautiful system that will work on your machine. That's the idea behind it. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the things that I have changed, but before we do that, I do want to go ahead and say thank you to all of these fantastic people over on Patreon who are supporting me and what I do here. Uh, if you want to financially support what I'm doing, because it does take a lot of time, I've got a Discord server where I've got a couple, uh, uh, not a couple, I've got a handful of other, you know, Nix users who are donating their spare time to help other people, which is awesome. I'm spending a lot of my spare time helping people. And I've also got some paid one-on-one -on -one support tiers over on Patreon. So, you know, if you want to go over and above and you might need some one-on-one -on -one support with me to fix an issue or whatever that's available over there. So Grizzlyware, D-Dubs, 4, Dark Zero, Nate, uh, Forlorn Idealist, Zach, TGB, Papa Smurf, and Matt from the Linux cast. Thank you guys for supporting what I do. It means a lot. So let's go ahead and switch over here and I'm going to load up a terminal and we're going to CD into my Zany OS Git repo. So I've been playing around with this now, even though I haven't done much with the actual repo itself, I have edited the readme, which if we pop over here, you'll see I've got the readme here and you might notice if you've been to it recently, it's much cleaner. Uh, it just has the uh, description of what Zany OS is. It's got um, this little section here. If you want to learn more about my system, this project has a wiki. So I've actually created a wiki for it. Uh, we'll get to that in just a second, but I've also added a a few bits and bobs here to the install process, like uh, ma making sure that you add the Hyperland Kashyyyk server before you install the system for the first time. That way you don't have to build Hyperland the first time, which is, you know, obviously preferred. So that's pretty much it. I've, I haven't really changed anything other than adding in, you know, the default rebuild switch command, which at 
before. I didn't put it in there because I figured pe people probably know it, but shouldn't assume anything. So it's in here. And this right here, uh, the reason it's a little bit longer is because I am telling you to change your host name, uh, obviously adding this stuff up here, uh, and you need to reboot. Uh, and that ensures you change the host name. There's no weird host name change errors, which uh, we've been dealing with for a while. Uh, so that takes care of all of that. So yeah, we I've I've cleaned up the install instructions, made them made them nicer, made them better. And then if we go over to the wiki, you'll see I've I've been working quite a bit on the wiki. The wiki still needs more. There's going to be a dedicated Hyperland page that explains like the shortcuts that I use or keyboard shortcuts for the, that I use for, you know, you know, loading up a launcher or whatever. All, all of those key binds will, will be listed in there. It'll also explain a little bit about how my Hyperland configuration is set up or why it's in a Nix format, blah, 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 blah. All of that good stuff. But, this wiki, I go through explaining, you know, why why choose my configuration. I actually explain what a flake is because, you know, obviously my configuration is a flake. Then I explain what NixOS is, why you would choose it. I, I also explain the folder structure and hierarchy um, and how files get imported. I also explain why would I have my configs in a different syntax altogether. Uh, and then I go into theming, how theming works here, what I'm doing with my theming. Um, I also make a make a point to say when using the bar tool, you must understand rebuilds take time. Please give the theme a good minute to refresh before assuming it's failed. Uh, yeah, so if you run it, miss like it, it's if if I go in here and like let's say I choose this and then I click cancel here. It's not going to do anything. I'm still getting its building and everything. So if you enter the wrong password or, you know, you've broken your config and it, and it wouldn't even rebuild in general, that theme selector script there is n at least the way I've got it built right now. It's not going to, you know, let you know it's aired or anything like that. It's just going to air out and stop in the background. Uh Assume that you've probably, if you just entered in your password and nothing's happened for like five to 10 seconds, just know, assume everything went fine and wait, like just, just wait a minute, a literal minute before you, you know, assume it's failed or there's a problem or anything like that. Cause the amount of times I have gotten all the way up to checking out my config about to do another rebuild because, you know, I assumed it failed, there's something wrong, so I need to do a test rebuild to see what's broken, and then boom, my theme changes right as I was about to do another rebuild. It happens. So it just depends on what you got going on and how how long it'll take based off of your system, all that kind of stuff. So just be patient, be patient. Uh, and it's kind of worth the wait too because everything on the system is going to change. You're not going to have a problem. So, and then I also have a simple page here. I was working on this last night before I got tired and passed out, but I'm going to cover some of the, you know, regular commands and kind of just general maintenance and stuff. I do also have common problems that you might run into. Uh, for one, this is a very common one here. Slash boots is not a fat EFI file system. If you installed using MBR and not using UFI, uh, you will most likely encounter this problem. You need to use GPT and UEFI when installing the system. That will completely, you'll never see this problem if you do that. If you do see this problem, that means the installer probably defaulted to MBR and you didn't notice it. So go back through, install it using UEFI, you'll be fine. Also, Hyperland plugins fail. If you have this one, just so you know, the, pl the way the plugin loader works, if it fails, it's just gonna keep trying to reload it. So you see these loading things here, these just keep spawning it over and over again. They'll delete themselves and spawn back in. It looks horrific and like your system is dying. It's okay. It's not, it, it literally tells you there headers, headers version is not equal to, and you know, the current version or the new version, whatever. So it's just because you, you need to reload. So those headers, can be matched, H headers have to be reloaded, so.
no big problem. It's not like the plugin has borked your system. It's completely broken. No, it's just because you need to do a reboot after the update. So that's a lot of what I've been working on has been the GitHub, um, or excuse me, the GitLab, uh, improving all of this stuff documentation wise. I've got a ton of things going on on the discord. I'm about to release, uh, this weekend, I've got my next week's schedule coming up. So for anybody who does want one-on-one support my schedule, I'll have slots available for your schedule this next week. So I've been working on a ton. I'm very, very excited. I've, it's just been an honor to help a lot of people get onto Nix OS and enjoy it the same way I have. It, it, it's also just been incredible to meet all of the people inside of the Nix OS community. I mean, there really and truly is some phenomenal people around here. So thank you guys. It's been wonderful. So yeah, uh, let me know in the comments section below uh, if you got any questions or, you know, any opinions to share please let me know. I, I do also want to say before I go, uh, if you go over to the Git, GitLab and pop on over to the issues page, you can see we have some feature requests. We have actual issues that need to be addressed, all that stuff. Now, most of this stuff is not, you know, broken things. Um, like the Starship Tommel here, uh, it, it runs instead of, for some reason, it, it's being really weird. It's supposed to tell you the time the the command took to execute, but it's actually telling you, from what I can tell, the time it took since the last command was run, which is really weird. But, you know, it's not, it's not a game-breaking thing. Your computer's still going to work, so... Yeah, but if you have any issues, any recommendations, like features you want added, anything, you can do this here. Uh, we'll go through and add tags for it, like whether or not we're, it's verified, it's a verified problem, like uh, whether or not we've, you know, scheduled it for, for being taken on, whether it's not been scheduled, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, uh, definitely you can go over there and get things that you would like added, at least start a discussion about things you want to add it in, whether or not it's going to be added in is literally entirely up to me. Um, I, I don't mean that from like a bad standpoint, like, you know, it has to be a certain quality to be added in. It's just, it literally is my config and we'll add in features, uh, assuming I'm going to use them. And I think most people would benefit from them being there. Um, so, you know, switching from like Rofi to Tofi, like those kind of program launcher stuff, like switching, maybe, maybe not. Uh, I can't promise I'll integrate them. It all just depends on whether or not a ton of people really want that feature in there uh, or if I want that feature in there. So, yeah, hope you guys have a fantastic one. I look forward to seeing your comments and, uh, you know, seeing you over in the Discord. Hopefully we'll get to chat later on today. I am going to be quite busy playing generation zero on uh discord with some buddies if you want to play the game it's not too bad you can pick up a cheap steam key and you're more than welcome to come join us in the gaming voice channel on discord we're, go we're going to just be having a good time i've been working my ass off at work and off of work helping people out and d doing a whole bunch of stuff on my config so i just want a solid night to play with friends have a good time and relax so if you want to come join please do and look forward to seeing you Bye bye <laughs>